Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. I hope that you are all doing well. So my name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you today regarding the energies that will be affecting you during the time period of August 17th through the 31st. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I need to say. Oh, yeah, okay, so... <laughs> As I was getting into your energy and going through the chakras, as soon as soon as I started, um, you know, basically was like Pisces and started the whole routine, my third eye just lit up like right away. So your intuition is strong. We'll find out if there's something specific that's going on there, but. Uh, yeah, trust your intuition at this time. Trust anything that even hints at it. All right, we're ready. We're going to use the uh, art oracles for your messages this time. I used them for a couple last time, and they were really interesting. And I didn't yet. So we've got Leonard Cohen. Not this time anyway. Miles Davis is above, and below we have Titian. I think that's how you say it. We have Tina Turner at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me see where these are. And I was drawn to use a more of a, a storytelling kind of deck. Now, I'm not going to get into these just yet. We're going to see what comes out. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, but look at that. So, I just said, um, you know, it's cool to use a story. One of the uh, decks that really, like, tells a story very well. And uh, it says, uh, when it comes to art, all that matters is telling your story well. So, Looks like we'll get a little bit, you know, of a story that going on here. Let's see what comes out. Right. For Pisces, please. One more time. Pisces, August 17th through the 31st. And when you're ready, Spirit. Okay, there we go. Ah, and the world came out. Okay. <clears throat> I love that. It took me a minute with that world card, but I grew to love it. It just is so relaxed. <laughs> just satisfied, right? All right, well, we have, oh, yeah. The lovers. The chariot. And below the sun. Oh my word. That's really beautiful. Okay, let's see what comes out here. Your air element. The five of cups. All right. Fire. Eight of cups. Interesting. This is your earth. Seven of cups. Psh. <laughs> and your uh, water. Ten of Wands. Okay. This is, like, you know, this is the central channel here. And then, you know, all around it, it's like walking away from burdens, walking away from illusion, right? We're, we're making a choice to walk away from anything that's holding us back from, you know, our, what we're wanting to manifest, right progress is impossible without shock here and we have this chariot moving forward hmm okay let's see something from the past the king of swords all right and your future strength that strength card has been following you all around what's at the bottom ah beautiful four of wands Four of Swords, Healing, Six of Cups, gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to stop there because that's just too beautiful. All right. 
So, this is story time. <laughs> so we'll start right here in the beginning. And what I see here is you deciding to take control of your life, your thoughts, right? Making a judgment, making a decision to look at things very logically. You know, and with a lot of um, integrity, right? And turning your back to anything ambiguous, right? Anything that isn't clear, right? You have, there's this very resolute kind of feeling to it, right? Which we take into the future here. But right here in the past, it's um, a stoicism, you know, just the cold, hard facts, kind of um, shutting down the heart. But we see that we leave that energy behind, right? That, you know, not that I, I feel like in the, not getting into the heart space because we do see you making, um, or I mean, you're making decisions about the heart with logic. And I think it's actually the right thing to do, right? You're cutting through any illusions here. This five of cups, and it's interesting, we have five, seven, eight. We're missing the six, but the six is right here. Third card down <laughs> from the bottom here. You know, um, and that, you know, that's a message too, right? This is the underlying energy. This is healing. This is healing this um, from this preoccupation, perhaps, right? I know it's come up a lot. I know I've I've been on this, you know, soulmate, twin flame journey, whatever y'all want to call it. I've been there too, right? Um, I know how exhausting, but it's you know it's there for a reason. We're we're learning lessons through this. This is all about learning to make ourselves happy, right? to come to terms with ourselves and i feel like you know this is our mind in our mind we're turning our back once again to those spilled cups those cups those thoughts that bring us down right we're holding these two cups we're still you know and this is you know, with this lovers here, I feel like this is more about coming into balance within ourselves, right? The masculine and the feminine with our, within ourselves, coming into completeness within ourselves, right? And once again, she looks very resolute going within. She's standing tall. She's standing proud. She knows she's doing the right thing. And you know, I have this deck and it keeps coming up to me. Um, you know, because of all this energy over here, which is very positive. This, we can learn how to turn this Five of Cups, this kind of sorrow feeling there, um, into one of ecstasy. I, I, my wild wood tarot there, the Five of Cups is called ecstasy, right? Because these are changing, right? These, these are emotions that are changeable and the five, you know, it's the four elements plus spirit, right? It's, um, so it is possible to turn these around because I'm getting more of, um, you know, like this resoluteness. And when we do do this, when we put down our burdens, when we walk away from those things that are no longer bringing us uh, satisfaction, right? These things that are bringing us down. When we make the decision, you know, this is in your practical day-to-day. -day. You're being offered choices. You have choices. 
and you're making a decision, right? And it's going to be a good one because like I said, that psychic, <laughs> that third eye was strong, right? Clear vision. You've brought it in. You know exactly what you want and what isn't working, you're walking away from, right? You're putting the burdens down, right? You're picking up this one wand and you're taking it with you. Putting all of these ones down, picking up that one, and going off into the unknown. The Eight of Cups is a very spiritual card, especially in this fire position, right? This is a journey. This is a spiritual journey to enlightenment, right? And there's this need to put down, and this is your emotions, right? Leaving what has burdened you, what has kept you weighed down, right? All of that has to go. We've got two of cups here. We are going for our nine of cups, right? Finding happiness on our own. That's the next step. We have, you know, we've been in that six of cups energy. It's going with us, you know, uh, because when we're on this journey, it stays with us, right? Actually, the six, the you know, this is the soulmates on the major arcana level, so it's there, too, yeah? <clears throat> They're with us, right? But we have to finish, you know, we have to master the nines first. That's what this is all about. This is about finding personal satisfaction, and until we do that, we won't come into union. It just won't happen. So yeah. You know, we have <clears throat> in our present position, we've got Leonard Cohen here. Yeah. <clears throat> that song, Hallelujah comes to mind. I feel like, you know, this is, once again, this is like that balance within our, yourself. This is also a decision, right? We've got, deci we're, we're making decisions to walk away from something, to put the burdens down, to make a choice, to turn our back on those things that no longer bring us happiness, right? This is leading with your heart. This is going towards those things that find us joy, right? Travel lightly through the darkness. Put down the burdens, yeah? Learn to live in the intervals between events. This is that, you know, finding happiness within ourselves, right? Things aren't always going to be just as we want. Things aren't always going to be exciting. Things are, you know, <laughs> we have to learn to appreciate all the beauty that surrounds us day to day. Right? And once again, that decision is being, you know, this is very grounded. This is the only, and this is in the center, all this brown. This is, and there's even kind of a four of pentacles feeling to it, right? Where he's got the um, turtleneck. There's feeling of, you know, where you've been holding on, right? Maybe letting go a little bit, which we do see. Absolutely. So, this, you know, I love all this yellow here. You know, the progress is impossible without shock. And I'm not sure, you know, we do have Uranus energy coming in. So um, there could be some shocks, but you're going to be handling it well, right? This is more balance. We've got, and we've got six, seven, eight, right? We keep on getting, you know, you're progressing. You're taking the steps. You're on your way. You're confident, right? This is about manifestation. And yeah, this is as well. 
the keynotes are those left unplayed, right? What needs to go once again? Yeah, I feel like this is in the... Um, there's a newness to the chariot, right? Like this new fa mastering a new ability, right? Integrating it with all of the other um, skills that you have in order to create your future. This drive forward, you know, and play like you don't know how. He was such an innovator, right? We have to kind of like drive forward and try something that we've never done before, right? That's the way we keep moving forward. And he has an album, Kind of Blue. I just love that album. Um, and that, you know, it's like this beautiful progression of, you know, you start out kind of, um, you know, upbeat and it's, it's beautiful. I mean, like you feel good all the way through it, but it's a little more upbeat, a little more like, you know, dun, 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 <laughs> the beginning. And then as it progresses, it gets more and more relaxing. Right. And that, that's, I feel that coming through with this, um, strength card right she looks so relaxed the lion looks re relaxed right your primal and your outward you know sides are so in sync and you know you're just both so calm and relaxed you know going into this unknown right these are very connected and that is going to really you're going to manifest some really good stuff right and i think that um with this below, you're definitely going to be doing it, right? This is success. This is happiness. This is vitality. And, you know, I love that we have Titian here with this sun card. You know, and I do think, you know, he's got one foot on the ground, right? <laughs> wrapped in this red like i said this is the one thing we have in here that's grounding energy so make sure right make sure that you're grounding yourself because you're floating into the future just you know we see these five stars here which is about change we see this um leopard here and you know make sure you're being grounded because if you're not watching where you're going right <laughs> There could be injuries, but also just this transformation and this, like, you know, this newness that's happening, right? This is the end of one cycle and the beginning of another one. You know, the old man being reincarnated as this baby, right? The cycle of life. And, but, you know, this new frontier that you're going into, you know, you've got this eagerness, this curiosity of the baby, but you're bringing with you all the knowledge that you've gained up to this point. It's beautiful. There's this, you know, transformation that's happening here in the subconscious, right? <clears throat> Yeah, and you're doing, you know, that it matches up very well. What's happening up here is matching up really well with what's happening down here and here in the mind, right? Everywhere. It's all in sync. So it's really beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. Um, this strength card has been following you around, and I think it's just, you know, and... I feel like it's the times that we're in. We're, we're needing to, you know, just remain positive, remain strong, remain calm through all of this that's happening around us. And you're doing it, absolutely. It's beautiful. But, you know, this, I, I'm pulled back to um, this Four of Wands here, right? I mean, like, this looks almost like the same couple here, right? 
<laughs> I'm not sure which one happened first, if this is like, you know, it was kind of a whirlwind wedding and um, they were fresh faced and ready to go. And then, you know, because both of them look a little weary here, right? Where it can be the other, you know, it's that cycle, yeah? And there's guidance, right? This is a divinely guided union. Okay. Let's get a piece of art from the art book. For Pisces, please. I'm gonna go right here. Two left. Flowering trees, that's beautiful. We have melee on the other side here. That's um, some kind of goddess, isn't it? Or a god, if you're curious. And this is interesting because it looks like it's been made out of like broken dishes and stuff, right? Hmm. Repurposing, All right? We are in retrograde period, so it's interesting that that would come up. Um, but let's focus on this. That's just kind of like a side note. If this has a message for you, you know, I'll let you kind of interpret that. But the flowering trees here, this is really gorgeous. Carl Schmidt Rotliff. And I'm going to get this up here so you can see. Uh, you know, first thing, of course, it's all this pink, you know, which we see you wearing in uh, the strength card going forward and there's just this grace that's with that strength card this peacefulness that you know really comes through more than in most and um yeah you're flowering you're growing you're you're blossoming there's like this beautiful energy to this it's very heart healing yeah and that's coming through here too, right? All this green here, it's like in its, um, this compassion and Leo is, you know, all about the heart. They rule the heart. Okay. We'll get to closing guidance now, and then we'll get the chakra card, the art, well, no, we won't get another artist card. We'll get um, another little energy uh, card, just to kind of go along with the chakra card. And then we'll get, we'll take a quick look at the bottom. Energies, the underlying energies. Whew. All right, let's see here. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm pulled to the Moonology cards. Let's go. Let's go for it. <clears throat> for Pisces, please. August 17th through the 31st. Pisces, please. Okay, we're going to do one more quick little shuffle here. For Pisces, please. Two cards, please. Oh, yes, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I knew that you all were good. Oh, my God, and look at that. Full moon in Pisces is at the bottom with this new moon in Pisces coming out with Believe in the, in the Impossible. What? <laughs> Oh my god that is fantastic okay wow you know and it's this new cycle for you guys you know it's what's coming to mind for me is um you know that we're moving from the age of pisces into the age of aquarius and i feel like this it has is, you know because yeah the king of swords here right that's aquarius <clears throat> So I feel like, you know, this is even more than just a new cycle, right? This is like a whole new way of being. Okay. 
And of course, this is playing out on a grand scale as well. So let's read from New Moon and Pisces. Because you'll like this too. This card speaks of dreams and romance, of soulmates and poetry. It suggests there's a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being in a totally altered state. I thought about this card when I was looking at this. <laughs> um, there could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and that's what you're expecting. However, if you're on to a good thing, then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help bring about the manifestation of your dreams. If all that sounds a little wet and watery, then that's Pisces for you. <laughs> this is the last sign of the zodiac and the new moon in Pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't remember that part ever being there before. And, that, you know, somebody, this came out for somebody else. And I can't remember who it was. And when I read that, I was just like, what? Um, because I swear I don't remember it ever being there before. So it's kind of weird. But I don't think that, you know, don't freak out, right? Like, <clears throat> I think this is just, um... I don't know. Take that as it resonates, but I don't feel like it's, um, I said it can suggest. I don't think that that's necessarily true. <clears throat> Face your fears. They may, well, you know what? There is kind of this, um, you know, this believe in the impossible here that came out with it. And, you know, this card talks about the fact that you know, the energies of the time are kind of, you know, uh, coming together to make this possible. So there might be, you know, if you feel like, you know, this is clear-sightedness, you know, that if you get the notion that you're supposed to do something, right, follow that intuition, right? And this could be about, leave. you know, this very well could be talking about what you're leaving behind. And this could very well be talking about that state of mind as well, right? Hmm. Progress is impossible without shock. All right. Believe in the impossible. The blue moon. Okay. As the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign if, if, if you've felt like you're hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe. Whatever you're asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, this rare opportunity before you, it's important, however, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. All right. Yeah, it says miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon. So if you get a chance at something, even if it seems like, you know, chancy, right, with the Seven of Cups, go for it, right? The universe, even if you, you know, things go wrong, you know, <laughs> There's still a lesson to be learned there, and the universe will catch you, right? Beautiful. Okay. Let's get your chakra card. Wow. 
What chakra needs the most attention from Pisces during this period? <laughs> Self-mastery. More of that solar plexus energy, right? We have it all over the place. Um, whatever it is that you, you know, this is probably something that you've already started and you need to keep at it, right? Because, yeah, you've been taking the steps. Keep going, right? This is about not letting any of these uh, distractions, things that you can get you off your path, let you do it, right? Keep on the path. You're on the right path. Keep on making the steps. Keep going. You're aligned as shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we have inner child here at the bottom of the deck the heart chakra so you know once again I really feel like this you know there's a lot of green here there's a lot of heart healing that's happening um, get in touch with that inner child right what does she need does she need healing does she need compassion or he either way uh, play right there's playfulness to the inner child and yes you know, this it, it's in the uh, subconscious here make a conscious effort with that as well right this is how we turn the five of cups which can be you know one of sorrow into ecstasy all right and i want to get David of creation to go along with this. Kind of like an energy read. We'll have it go along with the self mastery. Please give us a card. Go along with this self mastery. What? card is do we have for Pisces please oh, I think this is grace I think that's that card okay and look at this we have uh, number 55 oh this is the plant kingdom but you know there's this this green energy there's um make sure you ground of course right and we've got it's a 55 it's uh, a master number and that change and you know this, feeling the spirit in the ant in the plants right connecting with trees okay let's see here ah okay this is divine inspiration beautiful okay so let's see here if you have never considered yourself creative the appearance of the deva suggests you widen your understanding of the term creativity is the ability to imagine to lift your spirit above the mundane and express what you feel in some way it could be a mundane action like housework or driving a car but if it gives you the opportunity to express yourself you are conscious and alive for that time the Deva is about living your life to the full and the special gifts this offers both you and the people around you. Yes, it reflects the spirit of revelation, the divine imagination, where to imagine something is to bring it into existence. Beautiful. Because we were talking about that, right? This um, manifestation energy. So if that's, you know, something that you've been working on, and we've got another seven here, seven, 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 three sevens. That is a divine number, right? Beautiful. I've been saying that. I've got to find another word. <laughs> but I just want you all to look at all of this green, all of this heart chakra energy. That's funny. Underneath that is uh, New Moon and Leo. <laughs> Just 
just thought you should see that. And relationships and dreams is underneath. Oh, beautiful. And love. Yeah. So don't give up on it, guys. Um, I don't feel like that's what's happening. I feel like it's just this mindset of, you know, being um, Tina Turner. Feeling like, um, you know, it's supposed to happen now and kind of like putting down that that burden of, you know, I really get that, that feeling, right? Of keeping yourself focused on that right? Focusing on your own uh, happiness, your own balance, etc. I feel like that's what's happening here. And look how healing this is, is, you know, and this is stabilizing balance, spirituality, and practicality. Tina Turner, it's not what happens that matter, it's how you deal with it. Purge your life of whatever brings you down, and the most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. I love that. And we've got, you know, this tiger print in the background. So once again, that <clears throat> solar plexus chakra being uh, emphasized. <clears throat> yeah, balance seems to be a big thing. So make sure, you know, you're taking stock of your life right now, right? Um, where are things out of balance? And what is going to bring more healing, more joy, right? I just really feel, you know, and um, stability. And on both sides, I love how, you know, I didn't even think about how I did it. But, you know, all this green, you're right here in the middle. Uh, with, and this full moon... You know, this is about releasing an old part of you and coming, you know, since this is full moon in Pisces, new moon in Pisces, you know, releasing this old you. And, you know, this is like brand new energy, right? We've got this beautiful sun card, this beautiful inner child. And, yeah, I feel like you're more connected with Earth than ever. Um... Yeah, this, uh, even here, like, it's so balanced. I love it. It's so healing. And then on either, you know, this, this is Juan's energy, which is fire. And, you know, Tina Turner, you know, very powerful, very fiery. And, yeah. So this is just lovely, lovely energy. All right, guys. I hope that that was helpful. I hope it resonated. And until next time, much love, Pisces.